Hello again, this is Point on Pally. Sorry for the delay. It's been a little while since I've done a video, but I've got a big series planned uh, in the next month or two, so look, keep a lookout for that. Um, but I wanted to get this video out first before I did that series, because uh, I've had some questions on it, and I wanted to kind of go through it again. Um, so this is going to be kind of an update video to one of the first videos that I did for this channel a few years ago. Um, and that's dealing with quadruped leg rigs and the spring solver IK handle. So the reason why I'm doing this update video is there's primarily been a, uh, a bug that's come about with the spring solver IK, one of the main features of it, and it's it's basically broken it a little bit and I wanted to provide a workaround for how to fix that because I do still believe that the Spring Solver IK is like is the best option as far as a rigging option for the quadruped leg um, and I want to show you how to kind of circumvent the bug that has come about and kind of give you a refresher on an older bug that's uh, come about as well. So um, to get started, we'll just create the Spring Solver IK. So down here at the bottom of the screen in the Mel tab, um, or in the Mel uh, text field, I'm gonna type in IK Spring Solver and just hit enter and it'll open up the option or give you the option to create the Spring Solver when I go to create IK handle, and there it is. By default, this option isn't here, so you have to type in the mail down here to get it to show up. So uh, I'm just going to, since the only joint system that's here is the leg, so I'm gonna click the first joint, and then the fourth joint down here. So we've got our spring solver IK handle. You see we're getting a nice bend there. I'm just gonna call this leg SS I can handle just so you know that it's a spring solver so you can identify it and I'm just going to parent this right underneath the icon here so I'll just drag this guy right under the leg icon there and just move it around so uh, that's just that's the basics of the spring solver just getting it set up um, now the bug that has come about, and I think this started in Maya 2018, but there is a new bug that's come with the spring solver and it involves the spring angle bias. And what I mean by that, if you looked at my previous video, you know we went through this whole setup of uh, creating an attribute here and directly connecting it in to the settings of the spring solver IK, specifically right here under the spring solver attributes there's this spring angle bias section here. And there's these two points on this little graph here. And what these points do is it essentially adjusts the priority of the bending of the leg. You can manually adjust how the leg bends as it moves and basically which part of the leg will bend more and bend less. So. If I go back to the IK handle here, if I'm right now that's set at uh, just a basic 0.5 default value, but if I were to, let's say, take this first point up it to one and the second point up to zero and then move the IK system, now you see all the bending that you really see on the leg here is happening with the first two joints here. This third joint here, you see, isn't really bending all that much. It's kind of maintaining its default position. And subsequently, if I were to flip the values, you'll see the opposite effect, where you see all the bending is coming from the uh, end of the leg here, and the root really isn't moving all that much. <coughs> um, so it is a really handy feature with the Spring Solver IK, and makes it, um, and it, it's, the one thing that honestly makes the this like the perfect setup for a quadruped leg rig because you can adjust this. The problem is that with Maya 2018, you cannot 
you can no longer adjust this in real time. So what I mean is, if I move the leg around here, then take the Ica handle and move these values, in older versions of Maya, you would see the leg automatically readjust and start bending the other way. But the problem is, now it won't adjust until you've actually moved the control again, and now you see the, the change happen. So obviously that doesn't really work for an animator. You need to be able to kind of make those adjustments in real time. So what we need to do is to find a way to circumvent those problems. And the best way that I've found to do that is to uh, create a switch. Um, so what we would do, normally you would have a switch for something like IKFK. But what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna have two separate joint systems both with Spring Solver IKs on them. The only difference will be that their um, spring angle bias settings will be flipped. They'll be in the reverse. And so when you adjust, um, we'll make a switch so it'll adjust between the rotation values of the two joint systems as opposed to switching the graph here. So you'll get the exact same effect that you did before but it'll be set up a little bit differently. So we'll do that really quick. So we're gonna start by deleting that old IK handle because we're not gonna need that on this joint system anymore. And we're just gonna quickly duplicate these and rename them. So I'm just gonna call this leg spring solver high waste. That's just gonna identify that this is the uh, spring solver system I'll call it leg one. Um, this is the spring solver system where the priority bending is going to be in the high portion of the leg. Um, and you can really obviously name these whatever you want to name them, but since these are, um, these are just going to be the switching systems, so they can be called waste. And I'm going to call this one SS low. And lastly, number five. And so we're going to set it up just like you would an IKFK switch. So I'm going to select the high waist one, the uh, low waist one for the leg, and then the original leg one. And we'll do an orient constraint. Don't have to worry about maintain offset. Make sure all values are there. There we go. And we'll just do that for each one here. I'm just going to click G because um, that does the last action that you did. It will do it over again. And there we go. So we have our constraints now. So we'll just um, add the attribute first on this leg control. So I'll call this um, SS spring angle bias, something like that. Um, we'll put the uh, minimum at negative 10, the max at 10, because I do want the default the zero to be the default value. So um, where the spring solver kind of has its default setting, so the bend is consistent throughout. So we'll click OK, and then we'll load the set driven key up. So it's under animation here, key, set driven key set. So there's our constraints already loaded up. Take the main leg control. And load that up in there and we'll just quickly do the keying system so I'm gonna start by moving this we can we could key it at zero if we wanted to um, and adjust the settings but it would just be easier to just um, when we key it at the extremes the default settings will be fine at zero anyway so so we'll start at negative 10 and I'll just set the uh, negative 10 to be low. Does that make sense? We'll start with that key. So we'll set the high to zero and the low to one. Do that for each of these. And lastly, that. All right, so then we'll move the attribute to 10 and flip all these. So one for high, 
zero for low key and quickly run through the rest of this. And lastly, there we go. So we have the switch set up. Now we just need to place the IK handles. Um, doesn't really matter what order you do them in, but um, let's go back and create our IKs. So spring silver, I'll use the outliner. So click the first one, command click or control click the fourth. I'll run Y or, or click Y to reactivate the same tool and do the same thing for that one. So I'll call this leg SS high. There we go. And leg SS low, I can remember just so I know which ones are which. And I will drag both of these under the main leg control there, just like that. And now we'll adjust the settings on the spring angle bias. So for the high IK handle, I'll set the first one to one, second point to zero. And for the other IK handle, I'll set the reverse. So now if I move this around, and I'll actually set this attribute to zero, so you can see the difference here. So you can actually see our bind is right in the middle and then you have the low spring solver chain here where most of the bend is happening in the lower portion and the high one where most of the bend is happening up here. And if I adjust this, you see we're getting the switch that we need. So now I can actually hide these. So now I can move this around and get the bending priority for the uh, for the leg here and I can get those original values on the spring solver IK that you used to be able to get but thanks to a bug you don't get any more and there you go you have the proper setup for the um, the spring angle bias in the leg so that fixes one of that fixes the main new bug that's happened with the spring solver IK. Now there is one other issue with the um, spring solver IK. This one has been around for as long as the spring solver IK has, has been around. It has always existed and it's still a pain in the butt. And unfortunately there really is no like perfect fix. There's almost perfect, but there's, but I'll show you the setup, and I did this in the previous videos, but I'll just do a quick refresher on it. So the main problem here is the twisting of the global control here. If I twist it around, you see we get instant double transforms. Now the pull vector isn't even connected yet. We can do that really quick here, but that doesn't really make a difference either. It's still going to have the same problem. Let's make sure. Uh, do the pull vector constraint on both controls here. Yep, still same problem. Now, um, from all the stuff I've read online, um, it par partially has to do with something with hierarchy that the pad for the joint system is parent constrained to the hips, and if you did a point constraint instead, then you wouldn't get that twisting. The problem is that if you were to do that, what you would get actually is very large values on the joint systems. Um, and I think you still get them this way regardless. So if I select those IK systems, you see we're getting really large rotation values on them. Far too large for my liking. Um, so is there any way to kind of work around this problem? Um, and from what I've found, the best solution is to simply plug the rotation of the master control icon into the twist value of the uh, IK handles. It'll essentially offset the twisting problem. 
Um, so I'll do that. And you got to make sure you do them for both of these IK handles now. So I'll select those IK handles in the master control icon. And we'll go to the node editor. Add these in there. Get rid of the shape. All right. Now, I don't think we need a multiply divide node to flip the value into the negative. I think just a one to one connection will work here. So if I plug the rotate Y, which is the twisting axis, into the twist of both of these IK handles, just like that. And let's see what we get. Now you see, no more double transforms. Now, if I look at the joint systems here, you see we get very, very s small values of rotations on both of them. And you see, not a lot. This is what I was saying about almost perfect. It works so close to perfect. Now the OCD in me really wanted to get those values off of there completely. Unfortunately, I just haven't been able to find a perfect fix for it. Maya never put out a fix for this problem, and it doesn't look like they're going to. And unfortunately, no matter how I change the hierarchy or getting rid of the pole vector or anything like that, you're either going to run into values on your joint systems or double transforms. This, to me, is really the only solution to the global twist problem. And... It does a very good job. It is just slightly, slightly off. You can tell by the values there, but it's really not anything you're going to notice. Not to mention the fact that the global twist here is not something you're going to be using often. Most times, you know, you'll just move the rig into the position you want. You're not gonna really twist this global control at all. Um, so it's, it's a rare occurrence, but it is something that you want to kind of fix before um, you send it off to an animator or anything. So that's would be my suggestion as far as getting that fixed. So that is how to create a spring solver IK for your quadruped leg rig and uh, working around all the bugs that come with it. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, keep the channel going and I should have a big series coming up soon for this channel so keep on a lookout for that enjoy <laughs>